Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Art Studio and I just received a phone call from one of my clients who had a question regarding this block. Um, she has already colored it and it looks great except she says she's having what she feels is a lot of difficulty dealing with the wrinkles that are here in her finished block. And so I thought that this might be something that other people have issues with, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it. The very first thing that I suggested to her is, I'm going to flip this over, is to come in and remove a lot of this excess tearaway. You can see probably better on the back how wrinkled it gets. And part of that is when you get it wet with fabric medium, as many of you already know, cotton, when it gets wet and then dries, shrinks slightly. And that has probably occurred very similar to the way it has occurred on mine. I'm going to move this around so that you can see that, you know, with the, with the fabric medium, it did draw it in a bit. I think the thing that would probably be most helpful to anyone is to go ahead, and I'm going to start it up here, is to tear away some of that excess fabric medium and the nice thing about this particular pattern is that it's been overstitched quite a bit and i'm just going to come down here and continue tearing it and not all of it i won't tear any of it here in the center i'm going to show you how to fix that here in a minute but just go around it and tear off all of this excess tear away. Be careful not to do what I just almost did, which is distort the stitching by pulling too hard. You know, so typically what I'll do is I'll just hold my finger down and just, you know, as I work it, just kind of give it uh, some bit of gentle pressure to work all of that um, so that keep the stitching kind of in place and then get rid of the excess fabric. I'm not gonna do the rest of this. I think you get the point. Okay, now, that helps to some degree, but you can still see there is some wrinkling. And particularly with lettering, let me just say with lettering, most patterns that are digitized will have lettering that is overstitched several times. And that's to make sure that the stitching actually stays once it has the thread has been cut away from the machine. So here's my second suggestion to her, is I'm going to use my best press. Working from the back, I'm just going to give it a nice bit of a spritz. You can probably see this. If not, I'll show you. Yes, I'm just spritzing. Um, just putting a little bit down, although, I, frankly, I'm almost out. So let me, let me see if I can grab a hold of another bottle here real quick. Um, here we go. Just spritzing very gently, very lightly, and, and just getting it down. Now, once I've done that, my iron is set at the hottest setting, dry. I'm going to, with this hand, hold it down on this side, and I'm going to work from the center out and just kind of work the center first. Now, you'll see you'll get a bit of wrinkling here. Now, what I'm going to do is I come towards the edge, again, holding that fabric taut, I want to try to work out as many of the big wrinkles as I can. And you can tell a, a, quite a bit of difference between this and this. So let me now move forward. I'm going to scooch this down a bit. Again, holding it up here, holding it a bit taut, and working away from the pattern. That will really help to decrease some of the wrinkling and give you a much nicer, flatter finish than before. Now I'm going to flip this around so that you can see what this looks like from the front. And you can see, let me move this iron over, you can see how much nicer and flatter that looks than say this over here. Well that's just about it. Just a real quickie so that if anyone else is having trouble like my client was having, you can now fix it really quick. If you have any questions about this video or anything else that's on my YouTube channel, please do not hesitate to put a comment below and I will respond ASAP. Thanks for watching.